I know my words are bright enough. I'm just not sure my voice is. I know my thoughts are strong enough. I'm just not sure my hands are. I know my soul is fast enough. I'm just not sure my heart is. I have the ends, just not the means. I lack skill, but I do not lack dreams. I am lucky enough to know what I seek. But what's the point of having a story if you can't hear it? What's the point of having hope if you can't hold on to it? What's the point of living if you're just barely? I have tales to tell, fantasies to fulfill, lives to lead, yet this life is only one of a thousand. This one is flawed. This one is not one under my total influence as opposed to scripts. Malleable to my every whim, allowances and aptitude compensating for actuality. For to write is to imprint a piece of your soul onto paper, immortalizing a fleeting chemical reaction, giving evidence to what once existed. When for and every tale is a mystery, even if you know what happens, because you may not know how. When fragments replace numbers, sentence relocating symbolic letters, a line of text for every equation memorized. It's a balance of languages, of regional spoken, and of universal law. The conventions of science coupled with the outlaws of semantics creating something far more interesting. Given enough time, caffeine, and compulsion, I would tell you every story floating around, bouncing down from my brain to my jet to the point where fiction couldn't come close to reality, or even the most chimerical visions I built up in my head could couldn't be as unreal as that, when even the most mundane aspects could whitewash most vivid. And when you and it's when you stop trying to surpass the veracity of life, and you start trying to complement it, when you reach the center for stories. It's a strange time to reaffirm one's convictions in the beginning before the end's even calling. And in truth, all the things I want converge to one word, storyteller.